guys. So today I'm going to be reading hate comments. I'm sure you could tell by the title, but I don't know. I was just in like this mood. I had an attitude. I was ready to read some hate comments. It was just a good mood to film this video in. I filmed this video once before, but I filmed it a really long time ago. Like it was closer to when I first started my channel. So now my channel has gotten a lot bigger. I've had a good amount of videos go viral. I guess you could say, I don't know if that's the right term for it, but pretty much gain a good amount of traction for my channel. So I've had a lot of new people come to my channel. I've had a lot of new experiences in the comments. So I just thought it'd be fun to go through the hate comments today because I usually don't do that. I tend to not even look at comments unless it's like the first or second day that I've uploaded the video. But honestly, looking through these comments, I realized I still feel like I have a vast majority of positive comments, which I think is absolutely amazing. Thank you guys so much for that. I'm excited. I went through and collected some hate comments I could find from just random videos. Some videos are old, some videos are really new. I just pretty much found the ones that either made me laugh or that I wanted to address or get some things straight for you guys. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video and I really hope you enjoy it. So yeah, with no further ado, let's just get right into the video. Okay, so I went through and I screenshotted a bunch of them. Oh my goodness gracious. Here we go, we're starting. This is just the first one I came across. I'm literally just going in the order that I screenshotted them. So this first person named Zai Karis, I'm assuming is how you say his name, said, is it difficult to go out and handsome guy in your country? So obviously he meant is it so difficult to go out and get a handsome guy in your country? I am confused right at this moment because I think the guys who I choose to be with are beautiful in my eyes. Like as in when I'm with them, I don't regret anything about looks wise. I've never looked at one of my boyfriends and been like, damn. He's ugly. I guess my sense of like, who's attractive and who's not is just very different from you guys, which is completely okay. I see so many comments just talking about like, oh, can you get a prettier boyfriend? She's so bad at picking out men. Like, like obviously I picked this boy, Zion, for example, to be my boyfriend. So I find him very attractive in my opinion. <laughs> You'd be surprised pretty much almost any video with any males <laughs> that I really have in them. They normally get comments like, why can't she pick this type of guy? Why can't she pick that type of guy? Like maybe I go for something deeper than looks, guys. Did you ever, Did you think, ever think about, about it, that, it way? that way? I feel like I pay attention more to things that aren't looks. Looks definitely catch your eye, but it's all about how you treat me. And Zion is probably one of the best, if not the best boyfriend slash guy I've ever come across in my whole life. So that might be why he's so attracted to me or just because I'm not shallow and I don't give a fuck about looks. The next one that we have is from K-A-M-Z YouTube, like YT. They commented and said, she got the clout and ran off. So, <laughs> how many times do I have to explain this? Bro? I, I explained this on live. I don't think I've ever addressed this on a YouTube video, which is literally crazy. If I wanted clout, when I had my first little YouTube boyfriend or whatever, I would have went for someone bigger. I would have went for someone with a million, if not millions of subscribers. I just feel like that's the smarter move. If your whole goal is to just get clout, to just get viewers, to just get publicity, why wouldn't you go for someone with like a million plus? Like I've talked to YouTubers with like a million plus. And if I really truly wanted that clout and I really just wanted to date a YouTuber, I would have went with one of them. <sighs> also, I was with this dude for like a year and a half. If I wanted the clout, I could have left like a ton earlier. Oh, and then right after that person said she got the clout and ran off, I replied and said, if I wanted clout, I would have got more of it from someone else, just like how I told you guys. And then they reply with, if y'all don't stop kissing my ass every time I reply to your hate comments. Okay, the next one. And we're going all out, guys. These are very petty. These are very, you know, like addressing things I've been avoiding. I know you guys have been waiting for me to address this <laughs> for a minute, probably. You've been a hoe after Alex. I can't believe they came from my throat like that. They really did that. And there were so many comments like that. That's why I'm including this. If you guys are new here, just to break things down, I had a boyfriend who I dated for around a year and a half and I broke up with him and I realized I was not being treated correctly. And I just kind of realized the relationship was it, was, it was bound to end. It needed to end then. And I feel like he would agree with that sentence just as much as I do. So after we broke up, I decided I wanted to live my life the way I wanted to. I wanted to live it by my rules. I wanted to pretty much be free and be myself. And that's what automatically made me happier is what I realized. So <laughs> 
automatically I just felt done with that relationship I just said F it I was like I'm ready to move on with my life I'm tired of you know crying I'm tired of dwelling like what is that you know I just wasn't trying to live that lifestyle and my heart felt ready to go ahead and move on so I went ahead and I made a little friend and I went to Miami with him because I just wanted to have fun it was like January 1st was my flight to Miami so obviously it was the whole like new year new me type of vibe like I'm just trying to have fun go to the beach get some sun feel good about myself and I guess a lot of people just really thought that the guy in the vlog at Miami was gonna be be like a huge part of my life but it turns out we have nothing in common and I didn't want to be with him even though I had a fun time in Miami I just knew he wasn't right for me I just knew it and I told him that and that's how it was so there's the first guy who I messed with since my ex now we're on to the second which is also the last even though I'm a hoe if you mess with two boys you're a hoe just letting you know but anyways the second guy is my boyfriend now Zion been dating him. He came on my channel as my ex in the X tag and I promise you guys I genuinely like had no feelings for him at that point. But he's just such a sweet guy and it came off in his actions and he really made an effort to see me and make me feel special. And so I knew he was the guy for me. Like I just knew. And so I was like, it's time. He decided he feels like it's time too. Everything worked out perfectly and I don't regret anything. But you know, thank you for your opinion though. Love that. This one was on my trying face soon for the first time video. If you haven't already watched that, I'll put it right there. So in this video, obviously I told you guys I'm trying face tune for the first time. I had never used Facetune before I used Facetune in this video. I don't know why you guys think I would pay four dollars to buy an app that I'm not filming a video with. I don't, I don't know. So this girl named Sassy Duran, Duran, I don't fucking know. She said she got exposed laughing emoji. It literally says you already downloaded it. You ain't gonna lie about Facetuning laughing emoji. <laughs> the, the thing that popped up in the video, I knew someone was gonna comment about it. It said, you've already downloaded this, please try again. What it meant was my Wi-Fi was going really slow and when I was typing in my password, I had to type it in three different times. So three different pop-ups all said, hey, you've downloaded it. Hey, you've already downloaded it. Hey, you've already downloaded it. So it was just a big mix up or whatever. Honestly, I love comments like this because it just reminds me that I'm such a queen and that girls think I'm facetuning. So there's girls looking at my pictures going, <laughs> she's just facetuning. That's why she's so pretty. <laughs> but genuinely, I don't facetune. Never have, probably never will other than that, that eye thing that I showed you guys where it's like, it makes your eyes very pretty and shiny. But other than that, I love my body. I love my face. I love my hair. I love my skin. I don't need to edit any of those things to feel beautiful in my pictures or in real life, so. Oh my god. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put them all up on the screen. Roommates, two studs, party time. Two guys as roommates, party time. Roommate is smashing. They're running a train on her. They're gonna fuck. I have lived with my roommates, Zion being my boyfriend and Isaiah being his best friend for since around February 10th. I believe February 10th was like the date that we moved into here. So I've been living with them since that date. And honestly, I have never experienced being this happy in this environment. Isaiah and Zion are like the best roommates I could ever ask for. They're just, pretty much my point is, I hate that people think that because we're all like a little cute family. <laughs> like it's me, Isaiah, Zion, and now the puppy Messiah. He's sleeping over there in that chair. And we're literally like a cute little family. Like I would never look at Isaiah like that. Why do people act like if a woman lives with two men, that like she has to get a train ran on her. There's two big things that I notice are wrong with that type of assumption. The first one being, it is literally 2019. I thought that males and females were like, they just go hand in hand. Like I don't look at males any differently than I would look at females if they're just my friend. Like female friends and male friends are the same thing in my head. And the second thing being, why does everybody act like I don't get a say in like who me or something. Literally, hold up, I have a, I have a screenshot. This girl 
said, well, dang, it's gonna be some story time of my first threesome with my roommates. I love you, girl, LMAO, but you're gonna get, never mind. That's literally how she said it. She literally put it as if like, I have no say in this and they're gonna fuck me. <laughs> like, no. So just because there's a female and a male around each other does not mean that's gonna go down. I don't know, I just thought that the audience would be, like, wouldn't be that shallow. Like, I'm not trying to be mean because of course, in every comment section of mine, I have amazing, sweet comments and and I appreciate those so much. Like there were dozens of comments saying like, oh, she's gonna get a train ran on her, the roommate's gonna smash, stuff like that. And it's just kind of sad to me that you guys reacted that way because I thought that we were just a tiny bit more matured in that area. <laughs> Again, I'm only talking to the ones that did leave that comment, but you know. The next one I'm gonna show you, just to give you some context, this was on the video where I introduced my two roommates. Jay Brown commented, this girl has some issues deep down inside. The reason I wanted to read this is because it really truly shocked me. He's literally saying, I have deep down issues because I have two roommates. That's what he's saying. And yeah, I totally get that his point is like, oh, but she's a girl moving in with two boys. Like, <gasps> like no, I don't look at it that way. I don't give a fuck if they're two boys. I'm probably gonna live with them for a long time because they're such good roommates and such amazing people. So I'm so sorry if you feel like I have deep down issues because of that. Okay, so <laughs> Elizabeth Harmer said, so you know how to say bioluminescent, but you don't know that ugh and arg are sound effects. I still said them wrong. Literally right then, I just said them wrong. This was my episode video. I think it was the first one, like part one or maybe part two or something. I guess like I kept saying UGH for U-G-H, like UGH. I don't know why I've always said that my whole f life, but I have. And you might think I'm really, you know, slow for that, but we're human. We mess up. None of my teachers ever told me. <laughs> you know when you would read aloud to the class, there would always be a UGH. And I would put like, ugh, like that's how I would say it in front of the class. And like, nobody gave a shit. Nobody said anything. I didn't listen to them when they read, so maybe if I would have done that, I would have put two and two together. I just thought someone would have my back if I was making a mistake, you know? But I guess not. So that was completely my fault. And I totally understand if you were annoyed by the way I pronounced those words, because saying no. Okay, this one offends me. I'm offended. If I'm gonna get offended by any of them, it's this one. And you're gonna be like, Madison, this isn't even that bad. Like, what are you talking about? So this girl commented, Madison Bird, <laughs> XD. She put an XD face. She's canceled already, but I'm gonna keep reading. Literally, Bird is my last name. If you didn't know, Madison Pajaro pretty much means Madison Bird. Pajaro is Spanish for bird. What is so funny about that? I think that's adorable. <laughs> because I love angels, I love anything with wings. So I've always had this weird obsession with birds, mainly ducks, to be honest. I like the fact that my last name means bird. And what's funny about it? How is that funny? It's just the word bird. I, I would get it if it was like, asshole. <laughs> it's literally the word bird. Oh. Okay, here's the beebs, because he woke up. This is Messiah, by the way, guys. You haven't really met him, but he just woke up, so I figured I'd let you meet him. But like my last name is literally just Bird. And people, like people have always thought that was funny in my life. I don't know why. And I don't know why they always put it together really late. Like I've been on YouTube for a minute now, over a year and a half now. There's only been like a handful of comments about my last name meaning Bird. And they're usually laughing at it. Why are they laughing at it? Okay, then the last one, just because I think it's really funny. Poppy Yee Yee commented and said, why did she make Kai look 40 years old? Literally, I'm gonna insert a picture of Kai from this freaking video. I don't know why everyone is so offended by my preferences in men, but for some reason, they all hated the way I made Kai look. And like, I thought he was cute. I thought he was cute. And everybody was saying like, oh, she made him look like an old man. She gave him wrinkles. Like, but I don't, I don't even know what the y'all are talking about because why would they give an option to put wrinkles beside like a teen in a, in a teenager type of game he looks good okay to me and that's all that matters so yeah guys those were the funniest little hate comments i could find right at the moment for you guys i actually was not aware that this video was gonna have so much drama and like tea Tea. But you know, I'm really glad the way it came out it was a fun video. That's how these are supposed to go I feel like I really hope you guys enjoyed this video If you did give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you want to I just want to say a big thank you to everyone that leaves comments anytime 
whether that be a positive one or a negative one. They all can help me in my YouTube career, I feel like, so thank you to everyone who comments. <laughs> That was the pups if you heard them. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I love you guys so much and I'll see you on my next one. Bye guys.